Computer scientists unveil rapid energy efficient Bitcoin mining algorithms. This is interesting. So quantum blockchain has unveiled a new Bitcoin mining algorithm that improves the current crypto mining hardware through increased speed and energy efficiency. In a press release on May 23rd, the company stated that the development has resulted in the first two knowledge based algorithms that govern the SHA-256 computation. According to the firm, it has now moved to live experiments of Bitcoin mining through the standard version of the SHA-256 algorithm, with quantum seeking to collect real-time data to reinforce the company's existing database. The results were attained through a test dubbed Method A. The team also deployed another testing dubbed Method B. The knowledge-based mining approach requires the deployment of a proprietary ASIC chip. So. Well, you're looking at essentially from all your perspective as a miner, you're looking for the release of a new ASIC miner on the horizon. And if it is going to be extremely efficient and so on, I think obviously you're going to want to be careful about purchasing these eight to $10,000 ASIC units that are currently on the market for mining Bitcoin. Based on these test success, it will improve the current Bitcoin mining theory of commercial ASIC chips. Already, theoretical analysis is showing improvement, but Quantum notes that experimental testing needs to confirm the results. Quantum also confirmed ongoing tests of the Quantum version of the SHA-256 algorithm. The company is set to file another patent upon theoretical confirmation based on the outcome. Francisco Garden or Francesco Gardin something like that. The CEO and executive chairman of QBT explained the company's progress in improving existing mining hardware. And according to him, quote, at the same time, we continue to improve chip design of ASIC based traditional mining by optimizing the SHA-256 algorithm and its silicon implementation. Our quantum computing team has now successfully achieved its first correct quantum computation of a reduced size version SHA-256 and is now scaling up to the full SHA-256. The UK based firm added that it had attained a new milestone after performing simultaneous or sorry, after performing simulations on an extremely scaled down simulated quantum version of the SHA-256 algorithm, they allegedly produced exact results for the first time. Quantum highlights that it aims to monitor if the number of qubits available on the next phase of commercial quantum computers will sustain the full SHA-256 computation. The task is scheduled for the next two months. On publishing the subsequent results, Quantum stated that there is no specific timeline due to the complexity of the task. Finally, the Quantum solution can be viewed as a significant milestone for the cryptocurrency sector, considering that Bitcoin mining has come under scrutiny scrutiny for energy consumption. However, manufacturers have moved to improve current hardware handling the energy consumption shortcomings over the years. And we always talk about this. Once again, this is just an example of what we preach every time the energy problem comes up with Bitcoin. If incentivized properly, people will try to figure out a way to make things more energy efficient and save money in that way. Because your primary cost as a miner, and that's GPU mining, uh, ASIC mining, etc., is going to be power, you are directly incentivized to reduce your power consumption. To basically expound upon that, if you were in the position of government regulation and you wanted to reduce the power uh, or have Bitcoin power be reduced for, you know, emissions, essentially, you would incentivize miners to move to renewable energies. And that's how you would solve the problem. Bans do not solve the problem. Incentivize pro people properly and then obviously it will be resolved. And luckily, because mining is basically, like I said, directly related to the cost of power, it's a really easy problem uh, to resolve. The other things that obviously Bitcoin mining and really any mining can contribute to is the reduction of power waste or energy waste. 
And that is going to become more and more relevant as we have more and more people charging electric cars, for example, where you have high usage times at night while the cars charge up and then they drop down for a period of time while they're not charging and they're being used for commuting. You want to make sure that you have basically power plants that can accommodate for that spike in power consumption. And that is why you start seeing incentives around mining where companies are working with them to say, hey, turn on your rigs now and utilize them and then shut them off here when we hit the high peaks. This is also something that's been common here now for quite a while in Texas where you can get specific like uh, incentives for turning on your AC or turning up your AC during peak times is not dissimilar. And that is how you incentivize the public to basically operate correctly surrounding Bitcoin mining and crypto mining in general. And I think that's the proper solution and the, and the direction it needs to go into. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.